Howdy folks, today I've got from a company called All Powers. And All Powers is, well, just like it sounds like it, they do various types of, you know, standby little power stations like this one right here. This is a 600 water with lithium ion batteries. We're gonna be taking a look in, at the features and, you know, just look at this thing. But they also sent me this really, this is really cool. This is a solar power package and it's solar power panels with the cables and everything you need to hook up to say, charge this thing up anywhere the sun shines, right? So we're gonna get into this right now. Yeah, all power sent this over to us. It's a, it's a power station and uh, I'm outside because we're gonna be putting the solar panels up that they sent and charge this thing up. I ran it down to about 46%, but it comes with some really cool and interesting features. This one is the only one I've noticed it at least that, you know, I'll show you the top here. It has the uh, wireless charging for your phone or your ear pods, whatever, <laughs> right on the top here. I, you could probably put your tablet or something up there for that matter, but you could rest something up here and wirelessly charge it off of this station. So that's kind of an interesting feature. Also has, of course, a good heavy duty, nice, comfortable uh, carrying handle. On the side here, uh, something different again. This one does not need a power brick. Now I'll open this up and just show it to you. And you can just, they, they send you a plug and you can plug into here and plug into anywhere where the grid is and you can be powering this or at least charge this thing up to get, you know, get it, bring it up to 100% whatever. Also, it has the uh, XT60 type uh, plug here for solar power. So you can plug off a solar system directly off panels into here it'll look after everything and figure it out and charge itself up which is really really cool usual uh over here usual flashlight <laughs> that does sos flash and it also does uh like acts as a flashlight if you need some um lighting for something for emergency you've got a a button up here for the uh, flashlight but you also have a power button and it has a really nice led readout i want to show you the led readout because it's like it's really cool you also have of course a cigarette lighter plug and the other two little round jobs that you can you know plug stuff in for 12 volt and of course you have these these are covered with these little rubber plugs which sort of helps to keep the weather or dust dirt and whatever out of there so that helps kind of keep the unit a little bit cleaned up we're going to go over to the barn first, and I guess we'll plug into my power station because what I want you to see is the uh, LED display on this thing. It is, it is cool. You know, it's uh, lithium ion, by the way. Just make sure I mention that. Let's go over to the barn and take a check it out. And bang, I'm in the barn. Well, one of the things I had to do was shut the lights off in here. I absolutely wanted you to see all this. This is great information. It's at 47%. I just plugged it in right back here off of my uh, solar package, and. The plug that we're talking about, which is the XT60, looks like this. Uh, hopefully focus, I don't know if you can see that real well, but it's kind of dark in here. The whole dark thing is, of course, to be able to see this. Uh, right now, okay, they're showing 100 watts coming in off the solar with uh, clouds over the, <laughs> oh, 120, 70, oh, that's gonna bounce all over the place. But that's the input. This is the wattage coming in to help charge this back up. Also, the, the power button, is really cool because it's lit up with little green things. So when you have the power on, you can actually see the light lit up. Also, of course, the other thing I forgot to mention, I didn't get into it, but it also has, of course, the two USB uh, down here for, for running, charging USB things. Also has the two USB-C or USB, USB 3.0, whatever you wanna call them, uh, as well on the front of the unit here. And it's kind of convenient because everything is right off the front here for plugging stuff in. And I like that. Uh, the only, I guess the only downer would have been maybe having all of this on this side of the unit would have been handy in this case, but uh, most units that I've seen on the market, either one side or the other, I don't think I've seen anybody do it at the back. I'm kind of glad they don't do it at the back, of course. But the readout on this thing is really nice. It's pretty is what it is. <laughs> and right now we're, like, we're at 100, whoop, it keeps jumping up and down. I'm not sure where we got shade or, yeah, the, the clouds are running over top of us today. So we're bouncing 163 watts coming in. We're slowly surging our way up and we'll, we'll over time, this will charge up. Now the charging time, of course, is gonna vary because if a cloud goes over, it's gonna change the time on you. So I'm not really uh, committed to say, oh, it'll charge up in two hours or six hours, don't matter because 
once you plug it into solar it's kind of a plug it in and you know set it forget it kind of a thing anyways so i won't go by that like right now look we're jumping between 140 160 watts and again that's because the conditions outside here are uh, i've got sort of a semi cloudy day even though it's about 105 in the barn here right now with us but I wanted to show you all this first, and then we're gonna take it out and we're gonna put it on their solar panels. This is off of my solar package that's on the roof of the barn here right now. And again, you can see it's the wattage jumping up and down a little bit as clouds roll over us. And it will give you a configured out, like it'll, you know, depending on the wattage, but this is again, another cool thing. It calculates it. And it's right now it's showing that it will be fully charged in about 47 minutes, right? <clears throat> Excuse me, 47 minutes right now. But that again is going to depend on weather conditions. You know, if this if the clouds roll over, this time thing's going to go up. If it stays nice and sunny, then you know, in an hour, or whatever. Oop, we just shut it off. There we go. Uh, it will go to sleep. That's 48. It's coming up. It, it so supposedly right now the, with conditions, it should be charged up in just roughly about an hour. And we've got 600 watt outlets here for plugging cool AC stuff in and running things that we need. And the recharge time is actually really quick. I thought better mention that. Yeah, that's a fast recharge time for most power stations in you know in general. And recharge time is kind of critical uh, when you're out in the boonies and you need to recharge this thing and then put it back online. The less time you have to recharge, of course, you know it's a it's a no-brainer. It just makes life really you know that much easier because you might want to get this back on a small refrigerator or back on something you're using but you can also charge your laptop your phones and of course all the usual gobbledygook it's a nice power station it's not too heavy i think she was somewhere around nine ten pound not too bad lithium ions a little lighter than the other type but lithium ion is kind of like what we run our drills and our other chargeable uh, tools and stuff off of so it's not a bad system really let's get into the solar package and then we'll plug all this in off the solar that they supply and see how it does and what the difference is. Because right now, my panels, I've got up to, I think, 360 watts on this line here. And right now you can see it's limiting itself to around 150. And again, it will control the wattage coming in. So if you have a large panel system like myself, that's, well, that's big, bigger than 100 watts, it's still going to cut it to a certain amount, whatever's, you know, livable. So you're not going to, you know, burn this thing up and recharging it or something like that. That's cool. Okay. Right before we go outside and check their panels, uh, I've got a cloud cover right now. So my wattage coming in is way down. Uh, starting, you know, the sun's starting to shine again. So the wattage is coming right back up again. And we're right at about a one hour charge time. But I've got a light here. I'm going to turn that on there. I'm powering up a, a light that will come on. Phew. There it goes. Now the light is going to be shown here, and it's going to show me that uh, I've got a 47 watt load on here. I've got 70 watts coming in, and it's now going to take two hours to fully recharge this as long as that light is still running and it's on. Again, uh, in a situation out there in the boonies, whatever, you know, camping, whatever it is you're doing, or, you know, if you're at an apartment, you've got a solar panel, you know, hanging outside you can be charging and running something at the same time. And I, that is something with these power stations that is always a little bit in question. But if you have more wattage coming off the panel than load, then you know yourself, yes, you are definitely going to still charge your power station up fully while you're running whatever it is, in this case, you're running. And so that's the light. So I just wanted to show you that because we're going to do the same thing with third panel and see how it works or how it plays out. I think it's going to work okay. Now I'm going to shut all this off and we're going to go outside and get on their panel. I'm, I'm losing my shadow here really quick. I want to stick the table out in the sun where the panels can get power, but in the shade I want to keep the uh, power station on the charge system so we can run some tests. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you this. I want you to see this panel thing because this panel kit is really nice. It's like a flat little suitcase with a carrying handle and you can just store that anywhere you need when you're not needing it or when you don't use it. Yeah, did that make any sense? No, probably not. Anyways, it's got Velcro, so you can open her up. And as you can see, there's two great big solar panels in here and they're tied together already. The whole thing is they're in parallel anyway. So they're already pre-series, you know, pre-parallel wired, whatever. And you have this. Now you also have these little uh, bungee cords so you can hang this off of something if you need to. But it also comes with this little feature right back here, which is these, and they have little straps. So that way you can stand this thing up and you have two of them. So, yeah. 
So now I can I can set it up like this as a stand and I can put that out in the sun and collect the power from the sun. So you can see that I have the two on the back here. And they just uh, Velcro in. So they have, they're held together with the Velcro and then you just unlock them like that, like this and set them up. How cool is that? And it gets further. Now I'm gonna have trouble showing you this. So what I'm gonna do is lay it down flat so you guys can see this. On the back is this little pouch, little, little carrying pouch back here, and it has two zipper locks. You can open these zippers up, and inside are your cables for plugging your different types of uh, systems in to the panels. And they actually give you uh, a number of different uh, ways to hook this up. So you can actually, let's see if I can get this out here. There's the two wires coming in and off the panels. But you could also series wire or do something fancy. If you had more of these, you could, you know, run them. And then you have, of course, one of these for uh, an input, if that's what you need. They also include some extra packaging of wiring here. So again, you have more of the solar type wiring to put this kit together. So this kit is very flexible. They also include adopters. Remember I was showing you those different little round plugs. They give you a set of adopters so you can adopt to a different system if you're trying to charge something off the of solar. So you have lots of possibilities here of what you can do with this, this pair of solar packages. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna hook this up in the sun and I'm gonna put these, <clears throat> put this out there in the sunlight and I'm gonna put the power station here so we can look at the power station and see how it's doing off of these panels. So all power includes a little pouch that's got your, uh, this is your household hookup for charging the uh, power station. But it also includes this. This is going to connect to your solar package if you, if you have, if you take the option. And so what we're going to do, there's again the XT60 uh, connector. And we're going to hook that in and plug it in. And then we're going to hook these up. Now, obviously black to black, red to red. Yeah, real, real tough set of instructions there. And I got to get all this untangled because I'm going to put the solar panels themselves out in the sun where we stay nice and cool. So uh, again, you know, these are very typical of solar. And the reason is sort of crazy, but... Uh, solar is producing electricity all the time. So in other words, there's power there. So in order to keep you safe, they design it this way. Yeah, right now we're getting 16 watts. We're not even in the sun. So I'm going to run the table out into the... Let's see if I can get this. Uh, get this out of our way. And the sun is directly overhead. So I'm going to run this out into the this part in the sun, keep this in the shade, and that way we can keep an eye on everything that's going on here. There we go. That's, there we go, that's in direct sunlight now. So come on over here and take a look and we'll see what's going on. Watt panels, but it looks like they're awfully good because at 90 watts, we're getting almost everything we should from 100 watts of panels. So that's pretty amazing. And the hookup is pretty straightforward. You sort of can't screw it up. It's, it's just, you know, wire to wire, connect, connect, you know, no biggie. Uh, Let's take a look at, let's plug something in. I'm going to put a light on and I'll just show you what's going on with that. So the same light that we had in the barn, uh, I'm just going to pile that up here on the bench. <laughs> Stick the solar panels out a little further. And we'll just plug this light in and have it run. And there we go, lights on. And now we show 44, 47, 48 watts. Now our charging time has now gone up. It's now saying that we will be charged in about, looks like it should be three hours, but oh, let's see what we got here. Yeah, about three hours because most of the power is being taken by, well, yeah, most of the power is being taken by the light. We've got 86 watts coming in from the sun. We're using 47 for the light. Again, I love the way these things work because you can supplement, you know, some of the power coming in from the panel towards charging and also running stuff such in this case, a four foot strip lamp. So it's, it's you know, they are really neat. And this one here will run on uh, 120, but it'll also run 240 if you need to uh, on the inputs. Yeah, also on the solar package, it's 12 to 60 volts. In other words, you can have different solar packages at different voltages, and you can still bring it in here, and it will make the change over to whatever voltage is needed to run the 12 volt or to you know run the system. Uh, and of course, at 12 amps is the max at that point. And that's, uh, that means that we've got 600 watts available here all the time. So what a cool setup. Wow. Okay, let's unplug this and put some of this stuff away. Oh, boy. Now we're going back up. 
and now I have nothing so now we're down to yeah in less than an hour this is going to be fully charged again it's a 64 percent and still going up yeah so I've got to thank all powers for sending all this over to me the solar panel thing is really cool and it looks like it runs at like a hundred for percent efficiency on a on a Texas Sun I think solar power is pretty good <laughs> The uh, power station is the R600. I don't know if I got the chance to mention that or not. Also, there is a power reset uh, or overload protection right here on the side. Again, you know, it's a good idea. You should have that. There's also a warranty card that comes with it and a nice little manual. It's only a few pages. It's not too complicated or whatever. But uh, plugging the solar power into this and having the 600 watts available with the two outlets, it's just a nice package and it's pretty good. It's pretty good price. I, I always feel comfortable about products when the price is decent, which for what they've got here, that price is pretty darn good. And I really have to thank All Powers for sending all this over to us so we could try it out. We've been playing around with it for a couple of weeks just to check it all out and I was really, you know, surprised. I said, wow, this is, you know, this is a nice package. And when you put the solar in here with it, it means that anywhere, any place, you could stop, set this up, put this on, and you know, maybe on a hot day you could have an electric fan blowing on you. Whew, the garage is about 100 degrees right now. Uh, one thing I am doing, which uh, I will tell you guys a little bit about it. We're not done, but when we get finished, maybe we'll get into it. Uh, I'm setting up uh, a power station like this idea where I will feed uh, an air conditioning portable system that will air condition this garage in the summertime from my solar. So I won't even be on the grid or anything. I'll just be, you know, putting air conditioning in the garage off the solar package. And I think that is going to be a pretty cool project. And at the same time, it'll be like free air conditioning because nobody's paying for the electric power on that deal. Awesome. Yeah. Now let's get to the, uh, let's talk about one other thing. This is Thursday. A lot of times on Thursdays, I like to do the draw. Uh, this Thursday, I'm going to say that I'm afraid I'm going to cancel the draw until Monday. Uh, there is a little bit of a conflict of interest with brand naming and you know what's going on with the show. So uh, Monday uh, I've do I'm doing a Vivor uh, product and this is where I really like companies like Vivor. They send product over and they, hey, you can mix it up and do whatever you want when you show our product, review it. You don't like it, you do like whatever, and just be straight. And that's the way I am with Vivor. I don't have any problem with, I like Vivor, I like their prices. <laughs> that's a big thing. They're kind of uh, the uh, online harbor freight, you know, but uh, they have a lot of different products, really like them. So meantime, uh, All Power and All Powers is just, it's really proven to be uh, quite a substantial system for a great price and it'll be, There'll be links in the products below where you can find more information on other sizes and this system and their solar panel packages that go with their system. So it's like, wow, it's pretty cool. I got to get out of here. I am melting <laughs> over and out. <laughs>